Hello and welcome once again to our readings of Aurobindo Savitriya in Canto 2, The Growth of the Flame, in Book 4, The Book of the Birth and Quest. We are through verses 80 through 90. Man's eyes could look into the inner realms. His scrutiny discovered numbers law and organized the motion of the stars. Mapped out the visible fashioning of the world questioned the process of his thoughts or made a theorized diagram of mind and life. These things she took in as her nature's food, but these alone could fill not her wide self, a human seeking limited by its gains to her they seem the great and early steps, hazardous of a young discovering spirit, which saw not yet by its own native light. It tapped the universe with testing knocks, or stretched to find truth mind's divining rod. There was a growing out to numberless sides, but not the widest seeing of the soul. Not yet the vast, direct, immediate touch, nor yet the art and wisdom of the gods. A boundless knowledge greater than man's thought, a happiness too high for heart and sense, locked in the world and yearning for release, she felt enough waiting as yet to form. It asked for objects around which to grow and nature strong to bear without recoil the splendor of her native royalty, her greatness and her sweetness and her bliss, her might to possess and her vast power to love. It made a stepping stone to conquer heaven. The soul saw beyond heaven's limiting boundaries met a great light from the unknowable and dreamed of a transcendent action's sphere, aware of the universal self in all. She turned to living hearts and human forms, her soul's reflections, complements, counterparts the close outlying portions of her being, divided from her by walls of body and mind, yet to her spirit bound by ties divine. Overcoming invisible hedge and masked defense, and the loneliness that separates soul from soul. She wished to make all one immense embrace, that she might house in it all living things, raised into a splendid point of seeing light, out of divisions dense and conscient cleft, and make them one with God and world 
and her. That she might house in it all living things, raised into a splendid point of seeing light. Out of divisions, dense in conscience cleft, and make them one with God and world and her. <laughs>